I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Uh, having an identity crisis. Oh God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh, while I know the seas aren't exactly safe, I am confident that boat can get you there unharmed. At least I hope. I know you haven't asked for payment, and we can't offer much, but here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know my partner here can be a little glib. But we won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. You two have my word. Find Kasumi. Please. Ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? Many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a 
a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors had good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? I need information about a synth refuge on this island. Ah, another Commonwealth traveler looking for Acadia then. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Man the hall! Something's out there! You sure you This ain't a drill!
Avery. And now you see what we're up against. Fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're headed for Acadia, right? Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But... Uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. took a battery, to be sure. She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. 
shipwright, handyman, the only one keeping the harbor afloat, beside Captain Avery. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. The pay is what the pay is. Are you in or out? You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. You're good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich, but they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That will be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble, he thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sicked some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn, shame. Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey.
Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like, and then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my remarks out there. Well, let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Set out of town. Acadia is above the fog of the mountain. A bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Tastes foul and sin. But it'll help. We need to move through the old mountain bridge. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the country. Mainland is think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Hi. Deep fog has all manner of nasties.
take care of the lot of them. Might just make a proper far harbourman out of you. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't stray too far. See the fog you a number on you. Get you all turned around. one of these at the agency. Hey there. Keep your guard up. There's someone or something else here. Stray too far. What is it? Right here. Ah. 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 Take them all. Go ahead. 
Something for you? If I got it. Building a collapse. Thank you. 
corruption or something. Hey. Deep fog has all manner of nasties. Keep your guard up. Worshipping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes, beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead, seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom, a land blanketed beneath sacred fog, a land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time hey with a fanatic... May you find his life. Let's move on. Hey. chance you got a second now does bashful mode come standard on all sense or did you have to pay extra for that yeah no only on me and I suppose that's sort of the issue I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing but uh, well I know I can trust you at this point for as long as I can remember I've been getting these uh, flashes memories of places I've never been things I've never seen. Memories of Nyx. They're not bad, they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine pretending to be human. Someone your age should be happy to have any memories at all, let alone a spare set. <laughs> I suppose so. But having to juggle my memories and all Nick's baggage makes things tough sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. 
Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're, you're a real good friend. Thanks. <laughs>